What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to your weekly roundup. We're going to be taking a look at content, new cards and new events and a look ahead at what's to come for eFootball 2.5, right? So eFootball 2023 is getting a V2.5 update. So we're going to kick off just a quick video, lads, short and sweet. If you're not at your console, this will be handy for you and we'll cover everything. Any questions, get, below, get in touch in the comments below and we'll try and go through everything as quick and as thoroughly as possible. Yeah, so... Authentic match, lads. Last week, I missed that there was an authentic res uh, event here. So apologies for that. There was a 50 coins event there. I did tweet out about it. Um, but that's there's nothing there yet to this week. On the events, we have some new events here. So there's some new stuff that are, that are coming here um, that ends in seven days or six days or whatever. We've got the Coppa eFootball Italia. Excuse me. This is a tour event in commemoration of the start of the Italian eSports tournament. So tying in with the new... Um, Esports tournament that they're going to be starting to copy eFootball Italia. That's basically what it is. And that is going to be your free uh, player of the week spin. So you win that. You just have to play against the AI or let the AI play against for, against you. Um, and then it's easy to, to do to, to sim the games. You also have your 50 coins Italian league. So that is that one there. So you get your 50 eFootball coins for that one. The J League and the Liga BBVA and this J League one are still ongoing. One is against user games. One is against AI matches, right? So that's the events. The eFootball league has been reset so the new phase has underway right phase nine has begun so you will be reset if you have been playing this um you will be reset about four right so i think i ended up in division two um with the last one or maybe it was maybe i didn't play my last game i'm not 100 percent. yeah i don't think so but you will be gone back four or five places dependent on your results and depending on your win ratio um you will be gone back to division so the new phase kicks off and that actually is going to go until the 11th of the 5th which is a little bit longer than usual it's just over um the month which is great for the likes of me because i never really finish a phase i mean i think i've got to division one four times um but usually i always end up in division two or whatever if, if i run out of time right so that's back on friend match and all that stuff that's as normal now on top of the rest of that we do also have a lot of changes that have come right so we have new objectives here um career objectives and stuff like that that is just going to give you a lot of objectives all you do is, is score goals and you're going to get a five star player for free that you'll be able to sign any five player, player star player for free Sorry, that's getting tongue-tied. And then also on top of that, the match pass that we have here, that is ongoing until next week. So the 13th of the 4th, that will be reset. So if you want to um, clear that and you want to get anything else, now is your time to do it because that is ongoing until the 13th of the 4th. I need to get a move on. Other than that, lads, we do have some new coins. We do have new, our coin, event, coin players um, and we do have some new free players that we can sign, right? So the first ones is I have done result our reviews for all of this uh, players that have did, that they have released. Coppa e Football Italia. We've got Cafu, Cannavaro, Inzaghi, Zamorano, Ambrosini and Salas. I have done a review on those. Some fairly beastly players in there. We also have the worldwide event player of the week so this is the free spin that you will get when you do that event that i just checked out there a minute ago and these are the players there i've also done a review an in-depth review in all of these tonali and ben white look insane we also have Grealish and saint maximin and of course Lewandowski and benz as well as a couple of other guys back here so yeah i've done a review on all of those if you want to check that out manchester b is ending in three days the eFootball championship players they're still ongoing and then their english league pack italian league pack spanish league pack they're all staying for another month or so. These will be reset next week. So we'll probably be getting new nominating contract players next week. If you've missed out on Enzo or on Shuamene, I would definitely recommend those just as a reminder. And then we also have on top of that, we do have some new free players in the shop, right? So the eFootball Point shop are now home to these three players. Percassi has got two versions of him. And we've also got Lacapino, who is... Look, he looks like a fairly decent player, lads. He looks like a fairly decent player. Now, lads, I am trying to trigger you because you're always complaining about my pronunciations. But this guy is Jacopino, not a Lacopino, because I know people will be slagging me. But Jacopino is an attacking midfielder. He looks fairly decent, as well as Percassi, who's got two versions, as I said. But Jacopino looks fairly decent, lads, as an attacking midfielder, right? Jacopino. That's how I would pronounce him, right? Anyway, Percassi, Percassi, and this guy, 70, 70, and 72, but they do train up quite well, but you, they're only for 5,000 um, 
eFootball points, which, you know, you can check are they expiring or not uh, very easily when you go into your eFootball points. I don't know what button it is. I thought it was this button. Toggle display. I can't remember what button it is, lads. I'm having a I'm having a senior moment here. But anyway, you can check that very easily uh, with your eFootball points when you're in here. Um, there's your details. You just click on it there, details. So I have 147 days until mine expires. So I'll probably just wait and see who I'm going to sign. But yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. Also, as well as that, we do have a bit of stuff going on here, which they have announced, right? So they talk about a couple of known issues. They did also tweet out, which we'll get to in a second, um, but they have banned a lot of accounts. I, I noticed a big uptake or a big uptick in uh, cheaters last week when I was when I was streaming and stuff. Um, there was a lot of times when people were lagging the games and stuff like that but we'll get into that in a later video with the stream it's nice to know that they are you know keeping track of that in fairness konami are doing a good job i think that it's very look i can only speak personally for me i reckon i've probably played about maybe 400 games 500 games of online and i'd say i can remember being cheated maybe five or six times so i would say that that's pretty good um in terms of like a fair uh kind of environment i know some people obviously i'm playing on ps5 so maybe it's worse on other consoles but yeah don't forget to get your login bonuses as well lads we got lots there to get and then last but not least we also do have this which they announced today konami officially tweeted out that v2.5 will be getting a release date and it is the 13th of the 4th so it's coming next week lads this day next week as we kind of predicted on the videos that we were doing up until you know the last couple of weeks we've been saying it i said that the 13th of the 4th would probably be the date mid-april would probably be the date that they would release this now they talk about this update being defined as um, a new season which is going to be develop develop design and define a few people have been asking me does this mean we'll be able to design kits and edit mode and stuff look i would say you know temper expectations for a while lads it remains to be seen i have a couple of juicy tidbits coming quite soon but i'm just waiting to see when we can talk about it and stuff like that because look i don't leak stuff lads i i never will because what happens is if something changes you look like you've got you know you've egg in your face you look stupid you look like you're just clickbaiting um and then on top of that as well you know you have to respect sometimes when you are told stuff to prepare for stuff for content or whatever um you have to respect that there is going to be you know like connections and stuff that you have that you have to respect you know what i mean like it's just it's it's like any walk of life man right it's any walk of life there's more important things to me than being first out or you know getting you know the clout or, or chasing that sort of stuff but anyway look it is what it is we'll be implementing new features with focus on team building and player development so that to me seems to me that they're going to be talking about a lot of um or adding a lot of stuff that we've already seen in the last uh, weekly update that i did where we talked about the first detail for v2.5 um where they're going to be adding stuff where you can like train your players differently you can reset your players progression you can add more players to your squad you can train them in different ways but they do just say enjoy the evolution of dream team so that's interesting right um we will get into that in a, in a later video and i'm going to do a video of what i would like to see in v2.5 but yeah that is pretty much it lads for me i'll be back quite soon just a short and sweet video until next time, I will talk to you in a bit. That's your weekly roundup. That's your lot. Peace.